Hey guys, Whitney here and welcome to part 18 of The Sims 4 Let's Play. So this is pretty crazy that we're already on part 18. Like, I don't know, this, it seems like this Let's Play has gone by super quickly for me anyways. Um, so a lot of you want me to kind of renovate the house a bit, add some stairs um, so that Lola and Charlie can have separate bedrooms. Um, which I will totally do in the next part. I actually tried to do it before I recorded, but I just, I couldn't, I don't know. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put the stairs. And I just, I wasn't having like a lot of creative luck with kind of renovating the house. So I didn't want to throw something together. So I figured I'll just try over the weekend and see what, what happens. So this weekend I will definitely renovate the house and all of that okay so she needs some social we're gonna have her go ahead and invite um hmm alexander isn't showing up why why or is he already here is it seriously because he's already here oh my god he can read my mind let's go ahead <laughs> and invite him in what are the chances of that i was seriously just getting ready to call him and invite him over and he's at my door like I don't know still why a teenager wants to hang out with a little kid I don't know I don't know maybe he's just a good guy um <laughs> here let's go ahead and what does she want to do so just fun activities uh let's go ahead and do that then since she's barred okay level up in the mental skill admire art all right let's go ahead and talk about school oh yeah okay and you guys mentioned to me that her and lola have the same aspiration and i totally forgot for some reason i always thought that harmony had the art aspiration um so i'm gonna go ahead and change that because for some reason this whole time i had been thinking <laughs> creativity artistic artistic prodigy okay so active imagination have an activity table which she does Draw three pictures while inspired. Daydreamer. Uh, well, I don't think she's going to achieve its aspirate because there's a lot of things that she has to do. And she's, you know, been a kid for a while. So, all right. Draw all five picture types. All right. So she does have the artistic um, prodigy aspiration now, guys. So I do want her to be like our little artist of the family. And Charlie will be kind of like the rebel um somebody said i should have probably given him a mohawk and i was going to but with the hat that i gave him i thought that it looked better like that and yeah that's just my personal preference and then lola's gonna be our little socialite diva girl um and i do plan on making over um harmony's room whenever she's a teenager it's gonna be super artsy and not so girly but it's gonna be super duper artsy and cool i think i hope <laughs> Um, and I actually got the Sims 4 collector's guide. I bought it and I just got it like a couple days ago or yesterday, a couple days ago. Um, and it basically has like all these tips and tricks, um, everything you need to know pretty much about the Sims 4 that you wouldn't, um, necessarily know of unless you had the book. Um, and so I'm going to really read through it and find out cool little tips and tricks and stuff. Um, so hopefully that will help me with my let's plays so I'll know like what exactly I'm doing because you guys know that this is <laughs> like really my first time playing the game so I'm kind of learning everything with you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and have her be friendly, get to know him and uh, she's really close to leveling up in something. I think social, uh, complain about problems. <laughs> How many learn that he's a genius? Um, let's take a picture together. Aww. Too cute. Reach social level six. Yes. Talk with giant stuffed animal. Will now reduce her sadness. Also, Harmony can research idioms at a computer. Okay, they don't have a computer. I should probably invest in that at some point, but... Um, so she can talk with a giant stuffed animal to help her not feel sad. That's awesome. Talk about hibernation, about past. about <laughs> Talk about past. Oh my god, that's funny. Imagine enchanted forest with Blarfy. Blarfy. Oh boy. 
Oh my gosh. So everybody's sleeping. Uh, they should probably wake up so they don't sleep. I mean, so they don't sleep. So, yeah, so they don't sleep all day. Okay. He needs to wake up too. And she's at work. All right, so she's having a good time. She wants to meet someone new. Girl, you don't have any kid friends. <laughs> Alex is her only friend. Peyton brought home 270 simoleons. Awesome. She needs to earn 100 simoleons for tips. So what we're going to do is tomorrow we're going to have them all go to the park. Like a fun little family outing to the park. Probably when everybody gets home from school and that stuff. Um, and we'll have Peyton try to get some more tips. Um... From playing the guitar so i will see you guys then hey guys so it is the next day and all of the kids are at school and then this popped up almost instantly and it's when charlie gets to class he realizes his timeline is due uh the one he was supposed to start weeks ago his he eyes the stack of papers piling up on his teacher's desk all he needs is a few minutes alone with one does he try to copy a classmate or confess the truth now since charlie is a bit of a rebellious little guy i'm gonna say that he would copy a classmates um so <laughs> charlie's teacher is busy writing on the board shuffling the top paper under his shirt charlie excuses himself to the bathroom a few minutes and several word changes later he's got a pretty convincing copy in his backpack nice performance again is small so there you go kids cheat in school go ahead cheat that that's how you succeed in life is to cheat that's my motto for everything my life motto um so Peyton is grabbing some food and everything is so dirty because I think I've not I've noticed that they don't automatically clean up um like they did in like all the previous games like they would automatically clean up whenever they were done and they haven't done that in the sims 4 and it's kind of annoying because you end up with a lot a lot of dirty dishes and nastiness so what is this a trash plant what exudes a constant stream of smelly odors flies love it so since there was trash there it became a plant um because that makes sense <laughs> i mean that's cool i guess uh peyton is too uncomfortable why are you uncomfortable you need to take care of your plants. Fine, he'll do it. He'll weed them and water them. Since you can't be bothered, okay? Um, so she needs to... Um... She needs to practice music. And she needs to earn 100 tips for playing an instrument. So we'll have her go to the park with the kids after school. And she will uh, do that. So let's go ahead and have her practice her music all right he's taking care of the plants okie dokie oh and the sink's broken fantastic everything is always broken in this house all right uh he needs some food let's go ahead and have him eat some eggs and toast all right, Peyton has reached guitar level five. She can now play country songs. Cool. All right, Harmony's done with school. Charlie's done with school. Lola is done. Okay. She's feeling energized. Oh, did she actually go to school energized? No, but she came home energized. Ay. All right, let's go ahead and have Peyton stop doing that. And we'll go ahead and, oh gosh pay our bills of 1,000 simoleons. Are you serious? That is so much money for this tiny house, really? Oh my gosh. Ah. Alright, so now we're going to travel with the household. Lucas, Lola, Charlie, Harmony, all of them. Yes. And we're going to go to the park. And so she can play for uh, tips. And the kids can play, maybe make some friends, since Harmony needs some friends her own age, because Alexander's cool and all, but it's just a little weird <laughs> that that's her only friend is this teenager, but it's Alexander Goth, so it's okay. Alrighty, guys, so here we are at the park. 
Now, uh, there seem to be a few kids over here, so let's go ahead and see who's here. There is Camden Hamrick and Grayson Dean. Okay. Um, all right, let's go ahead and have her play for tips really quick just to see. Did she not bring her guitar with her? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Really? <laughs> really? Oh. oh, well, she'll have to do it another time, guys. All right. Lucas acquired the logic skill. Cool. All right. Why don't you play with this kid? Um, Lola, go ahead and give him a funny introduction. Maybe he'll think you're hilarious. That's a funny introduction. Oh, no. Okay. He's like, funny. Okay. Oh, okay. So she made a friend. Is she friends with him already? No. Who's she friends with? All right. She wants to meet 10 new Sims. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and have her get to know him. Um, give him a pep talk and joke about teachers. And she learned that he's cheerful. That's cool. Ask about his day. And be funny and tell a goofy story and um, make a silly face. Okay. All right. And what's Mr. Charlie doing? He is over here eating some random person's tofu dogs. Excuse me. No, no, that is not right. No, you don't eat some strangers cooking. Okay. That's just a little weird. Um, Oh boy. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So you need to make some friends too, Charlie. Why don't you go, um, go join this kid up here. Go join his pirate adventure. Oh, Harmony's beating you to it. All right. Peyton's off to work. I can't believe I forgot her guitar. Seriously. I would though. I would. All right. She's still talking to this guy, kid over here. They're getting along pretty well. Uh, she wants to enthuse about interests. Go ahead. Enthuse about your interests with Camden. He's like totally not even facing her at all. <laughs> oh my gosh. So apparently she likes school. She had a good day at school. She wants to hit bump. Give him a hit bump. Give him a hit bump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. This kid is sass. Look at the sass, though. <laughs> Look at that sass. Oh my gosh. Kids in Sims 4 are sassy. Oh my word. Like, why? Why? Do you gotta be so rude? Alright, go ahead and play pirate with them. Since everybody seems to be playing pirate. Lucas, what are you doing? Lucas, go play sea monster. Be the sea monster. Entertain the children. Good job, Lucas. Oh my gosh. She's like, that's my daddy. Oh my god. That's <laughs> so cute, though, how they can actually play with them. Super cute. A little creepy for the other kids, but at least their dad is cool. Oh, is this another kid? Yes. Go talk to him, too, because she wants to meet, like, as many people as possible. So, uh, she wants to tell a joke to somebody. Let's go ahead and tell this kid a joke. Give him a funny introduction. All right. Because she keeps meeting people. She's met five people so far. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and call him names. <laughs> no. Um, we'll get to know him and... Uh, tell him a joke. Tell a joke. Joke about elephants. Oh, now she wants to play chess. Oh my gosh. Alright, so she learned that he's a glutton. Really, dude? I don't know about that. Alright, so what's Harmony doing? Harmony is playing in something? What is she doing? Harmon, are you playing in garbage? Are you serious? 
Lucas is like, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Ruin her fun, why don't you? I don't think they're even friends. Are they even friends with each other? Let's impishly pester her. She's probably going to be mad because she's not in the best of moods. Oh, yeah. She's not happy about that. Tell a goofy story. Uh, apologize. And... Be mean? No. <laughs> we won't be mean. Oh, he doesn't work today. Okay. I didn't realize that he didn't work. That's cool. Oh, he's gonna go hug Lola. He's such a family-oriented guy. Like, he keeps getting sad if he doesn't, like, do some kind of interaction with his family every day. So... It's kind of cute, though. Just, like, walking in on your daughter in the bathroom. Just adorable. So cute. So cute. Does that remind anybody else of PewDiePie? So cute. That's, like, his thing. So, yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, then cool. Okay. So she brought home 270 simoleons. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He wants to woohoo with someone. So I think that we are going to go ahead and he's not very tired. Hopefully she's not either. Uh, I'm hoping she's not tired and we will have everybody go home and um, he will go on a date with Peyton since he's been kind of sad that they haven't had too many, uh, you know, interactions with each other since the kids have been born. They haven't really had like their couple time. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to have, you know, the kids stay at home and abandon them to go, uh, I don't know, to a club and drink. Okay, guys. So he's going to go ahead and offer her a rose and be all romantic. Oh, so cute. All right. She, okay. What does she want to do? She's, oh, she's going to kiss his cheek. Or he's going to kiss her cheek. Somebody's going to kiss somebody's cheek. Let's go ahead and have her um, caress his cheek. Aww. Meanwhile, the kids are like, gag me. Okay, so let's go ahead and she should, okay, everybody's going to bed, so we'll go ahead and have him, uh, can he ask her on a date, or will he have to just, oh yeah, ask on date. Of course, of course, I've done it before. Why do I act like I've never done it before? I don't know. All right, guys, where are we gonna go? Um, we could go to the Blue Velvet nightclub. Uh, we could go to, hmm, I don't know. Slim Pickens, guys. We've already been to like most of the date type places. Um, the lounge, uh, we've been there before. I think that's where they had their first date, actually. Um, the rattlesnake juice bar we just went to. Um, so maybe we could go to the Blue Velvet nightclub. I think we're going to go ahead and go there. Okay, guys. And here we are at the Blue Velvet nightclub, I think it's what it's called. Um, so this girl, this girl's getting into it. She's Look at everybody showing up, though. Like, it's so awesome how many Sims actually show up. This guy looks is very angry about something this girl's happy yeah i love how there are so many oh my god Peyton! <laughs> look how she's dancing though look at her he still has his orange juice from home oh my word um i'm supposed to be having a date with my wife can you not they're like so not to the beat like they cannot dance like <laughs> she look at her how she like swivels her hips i love how each sim has kind of a different dance like I don't know it's just kind of neat but hers is hers needs some work it needs some work oh boy oh, geez. okay so <laughs> they're dancing why don't we go get some drinks wow this bar is is packed right now with all these people okay let's go ahead and um order I'll have her order a f zebra fizz and he will order. Ooh, he can make a special drink of Cupid juice. I don't know what that is, but let's do it. 
Let's go ahead and, well, I think you might have to tend the bar first. I think. Okay. I don't know. Move over, Mr. Pancakes. Move over. <laughs> Come on, dude. I want to tend the bar so I can make my special drink while I'm still in the flirty mood. Oh, are you kidding? I'm so mad at you. You are my enemy. Yell at him right now. No, go yell at him. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, he can't make it anymore. Are you kidding me? I, I cannot believe that. Seriously. <laughs> Peyton's probably like, are you seriously going to yell at the bartender on our date? Are you serious? I'm going to talk to this guy over here. Mr. Rico Suave. I'm going to talk to him. Oh, she's not happy. All right. Oh, he still ha we still have to do all these things over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. She's peeing. All right. right. Let's. We need to make this a good date. So forget about the drinks. Forget about drinking. Okay. And go flirt with her. So let's see. Romantic. Flirt. You can do it. Up here, we're all like by ourselves. The atmosphere is lovely. All right, and we'll flirt with her again. And then they want to sit and talk, so we'll have to do that as well. Let's go down here where everybody else is. And we'll have them go sit down and talk to each other. Flirt with your date while flirty. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so we're going to sit and talk. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch -ch. Ask about day. Awesome. All right. And he's gonna, um, can they still flirt? Yes. Tell your date a story. Um, hmm. Friendly? Would that be under friendly? Um, 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 um. um. Um, um, hello, how are you? Um, why is the Grim Reaper <laughs> at the lounge, guys? I don't think somebody died. Is he dancing? Oh my god. Why is the Grim Reaper... Dancing. No, we need to become friends with Grim. Oh, screw screw this date. We're becoming friends with Grim. Oh my god. Oh his voice. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Are we seriously becoming friends with the Grim Reaper right now? Are we seriously sitting in a club having a chat with him? Seriously, I, 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 um, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. Tell him a knock, knock joke. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there, Grim? All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Date unsuccessful. Well, I would say ditching your date for death is probably not the best idea, but. But hey, what can you do? Anyways, guys, if you like this part, go ahead and give it a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.